Hi friends, welcome to Upa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 9 in Microsoft Fabric playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about something called shortcuts. It's kind of theory. In our next video, we will actually create one shortcut as well. Okay. So the agenda will be to know about what are shortcuts and where we can create these shortcuts. Okay. So firstly, what is shortcut? Okay. So if you have watched my videos from the starting by this time, you already know what is Microsoft Fabric and what is one lake and other things, right? So shortcuts are nothing but like uh, objects on the one lake or in the one lake that will actually pointing to some other storage locations. So shortcut will actually points to some other storage. Okay, so that's what shortcut will actually does. The location can be within the one lake or it can be external to one lake as well. Okay, so it can be anywhere. So any location which is in the one lake or outside of the one lake like Gen2 storage or Amazon AWS S3 storage. So wherever it is to that location, you can create a shortcut from your one lake. Okay, and this shortcut will help you to connect to that storage and read the data from it actually. So that's how shortcut will work. So to make you sense of this, uh, I will try to explain it with a simple example here. So now I hope you guys are okay. Let me minimize this. So you, you, you guys can able to see my screen, right? If you see here, okay, one second, let me minimize. So if you see here, uh, let me open file explorer and in the file explorer under downloads folder, you see right now I'm under the downloads folder and in the downloads folder, I have this uh, uh, file called sales.csv file. So this is not a shortcut file. Okay. So this is the actual file actually. Now we can create shortcuts of any data in our Windows OS as well, right? So if I right click to that storage and when I click the show more options and if I zoom that and show you this, so what I did, I did the right click on this CSV file and then when I right click, I find a option called create shortcut. So when you use this option, you can actually create a shortcut for this particular file actually. So let me try to do that. So right click, show more options, create shortcut. The moment I create it, if you can closely observe, it created a shortcut actually. See, this is a shortcut file. Okay. And uh, this is the actual file. Okay. So that means if you have the shortcut, if you try to click this particular shortcut, it will actually open the data here only. So this will be just a shortcut. Uh, it's, it's like a, just a hint uh, to go there or reference to go there and open the actual file. So to make you sense, I will cut this from here. And then I will go to the desktop and I will try to paste this on the desktop as well. So I pasted this file on a desktop. Now when I double click this, it will actually open the actual file, which is there in the downloads folder. So the same way how the shortcuts works in the Windows system, the same way shortcuts work in the one lake as well. If you have data in some different location and you can create a shortcut for that and place that shortcut in the one lake and in future, the shortcut what you create in one leg can be used by fabric items like uh, spark notebooks and pipelines and all. Okay, so we will discuss that how to use that shortcuts which are there in the one leg uh, to refer into the spark notebooks and all in our upcoming classes. So for now, I hope you got an idea that shortcut is an object in the one leg that will points to the data or a different storage location. Okay, the location uh, where it the shortcut points that is called the target path. Okay, so the path where your shortcut is referring that is called the uh, target path and shortcuts behave like a link basically. Okay, and uh, these shortcuts, uh, these are independent object from the target. So for example, uh, let me try to put it in a different way. For example, you have a shortcut here, which you created, uh, which is pointing to some data in the uh, Gen2 storage outside. So it which is pointing to maybe data slash maybe EMP. Okay. So now if you delete the shortcut here in the one leg, then there is no impact on the data. Okay. Just the shortcut file got deleted. But if you did some changes on the data here on the external storage where the actual data is there, then the shortcut will start behaving wrongly, right? It will be, it will get affected. Okay. So that's how the shortcuts will behave. Now, when you where to create the shortcuts is actually if you see shortcuts, you can create it in the lake houses. What is lake house? 
how to create lake house we have seen in our previous video please watch that similar to lake house we can also create kusto databases that means kql databases as well in the fabric so even in the kql databases also we can create the shortcuts actually and as i said shortcuts uh, you can create within these items which can point to the the shortcut can point to either one lake location or it can be a gen2 storage account or it can be a amazon s3 bucket or it can be a dataverse in various different different external storages the shortcut can point to and actually shortcut will be placed in the one lake only that means within the fabric only it will be available for you okay so if you see the screenshot of this so this is actually the shortcut watch we created on the lake house this we will see practically also in the next video if you see right now we are inside the lake house and if you've seen previous videos in the lake house you will get two folders tables and files you see under the files we created a shortcut here and when you create a shortcut it will come up with this icon this small link icon whatever you are seeing so that's how the shortcut will be right now we are on the shortcut and if you see when we are in the shortcut it is pointing to these three csv files here right so from where these three csv files are actually it is there in one of the gen2 account and if you see this is the location sample data demo transaction in that locations all the three files are available here so that means to this location we created a shortcut that means to that folder we created a shortcut hence shortcut can display me that data that means i can access that data using the shortcut okay and when you create a shortcut in the kql database this is how it will appear this is the kql database related image and you see that here you will have the database and inside the database you can create a, there will be a default folder called shortcuts inside that folder you can create the shortcuts here you see s3 campaign aw adls campaign there are two shortcuts are created here right so this is the reference image to make sense how the shortcut will appear and as you have seen in this image when you have a shortcut here it will refer to the data which is there in the storage account right so in our next video we will practically also try to see how the shortcut will look like and how to implement it and uh, how to make use this shortcut in the spark notebooks all other things we will discuss in our upcoming sessions so indirectly shortcut is a reference to some other data which is there either it can be in one lake it can be a external storage okay so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much